watching this channel, you're probably not subscribed. Because about 50% of you guys are not subscribed. And if you want my cat to eat this month, I suggest you do so. After a month of consistently streaming, Ludwig's Subathon finally ends. Bro, his sub count moves faster than my follower count. Good for him. I'm glad he's finally done. I, I genuinely, I, as much as he wants to pretend that it didn't fuck with him at all, I do think that this subathon did mentally does something to you. It do, it's not going to be like, oh, I'm fine and dandy. You know, what's crazy enough with Lud's subathon is honestly, money wise, I feel like I want to know how much money he made in, in ads. That's where I think it's interesting because the thing is, he split 50% of. He made at least five bucks, yeah. If he was live every day, X said, C said he's doing a subathon in a month. No, he didn't. Are you being serious? I have to deal with this again. Please don't. Do, please no. Please. Can I? Can I have like just one month of just wagey, chill? Wagey. Like I'm Get chill now. If XQC does a fucking subathon, I will cry. The thing is, XQC won't Yo. sleep. <laughs> At least Lud fucking slept. All right. That gave me a few hours of the day to get my view count going up. Dude, XQC won't sleep. <laughs> I will be fucked 24 hours a day. Which means I will not stream, all right? I'm not streaming that month. Whatever month that is, my stomach hurts. <laughs> I ain't streaming, okay? That is not happening. If XUC did a subathon, how many subs would he get? You want my honest opinion? I think he'd probably get maybe a little bit more than Ludwig. Man, I'm a small... Nowadays, I'm a small... I'm, your, I'm a cozy small streamer. That's what people call Mizkif. They're like, yeah, I like my cozy small streamers like Mizkif. Bro... You got these Minecraft kids that are Rizzy, on a you should different make some world. Sort of like Bro, we're, we don't even talk about the real messiahs. You know what I mean? Like, we're talking about Lud and XQC. Why don't we look fucking higher up somehow in the deep, dark uh, clouds and look for Tommy in it? The dude that averages like 300,000 viewers on a bad stream. <sighs> he has like 4,000 subs. He streams for like 50 minutes, man. He shouldn't, uh, Tommy in it doesn't do this for the money. Uh, he just cares about being sane and happy. Viewer count doesn't matter that much. It's sub count. Chat, what do you think you would care for more if you were a streamer? Would you rather have 10,000 subs or 10,000 viewers? Because you're really stupid if you say subs. They're, you're really dumb. Like, I'm letting you know, when it comes to money, you're being a moron. Because the reality is, streamers nowadays make money from sponsors. Not from subs. From sponsors. Here's the thing. Ludwig did about three or four sponsors hey, during the subathon. Streamers, especially at my size, we make half of our money, if not more, in sponsors. Um, so if you were going to say, I'd rather be a 2K Andy but have 10K subs, that's not where the money is. If you, It, it sounds crazy to think, yeah, it's a fucking mess. Chompy, you are literally ruining these moments, bro. You're you out. I'm kicking you out. Bro, I'm trying to get clips. I'm going to... Anyway, yeah, the streamers like us, like me, the big boy, who nominals, right? A lot of our money's through sponsors. Um, that's where, and I'll be very blunt with you, that's where I make most of my money, is being a sellout little bitch. Um, and I'm sure Ludwig also made a lot, probably almost even amount of money with his sponsors than okay, his subs. We get it, rich man. You know, it's interesting. Disguise Toast made a video where he said this. Disguise Toast said this, and I don't know how valid this is, but he says that... 10,000 viewers, right, is equal to about, if you get a good sponsor, $10,000 an hour. And if you get a okay sponsor, it'd be around $7,000. Where are these sponsors? I have never gotten this, ever. I have never in my history of being a streamer gotten some ridiculously good sponsor like this. Yes. Like, where's this guy's toast getting these bad? Is that because he's brand friendly? Bro, I don't even, this is not even, I get down here, dude. I'm like, hey, 2K an hour, like, I'll take that shit. Like, that's why I fucking do bounties. <laughs> I have never gotten this, ever. It, I actually do think it's because I'm more brand risque than the average. Uh, but look at Lud. If Lud, uh, like I said, is a Disney more, he's more Disney, right? Lud is more OTV Disney brand friendly. He's a very brand friendly guy. 
He's like your, um, you know, Peter Poppin while I'm your douchebag dickhead. You know, I'm Chucky Finster gone bad. I'm known as the bad boy on Twitch, which is pretty fucking cool. Uh, there was a Kotaku article about it that got three views. So I'm sticking with that. I'm the bad boy of Twitch. Uh, Ludwig is a good guy. So Ludwig probably gets those good sponsors. So I'm telling you, chat, it wouldn't surprise me this month. Even though Ludwig paid his mods a fuck ton of money, even though Ludwig did all that charity shit, which was good, it wouldn't surprise me if he made a million dollars this month. No shot. Bro, you're dumb. You're dumb. Here's why, okay? Ludwig gave half of his money, right? Half of his money he made in subs, which was 350k, which means he already made $350,000, right? Yippee dee have a bowl of me. You also have to remember something. Cute shirt. That I'm cute. You also have to remember he has sponsors. He made donations. And a lot of that money also did go to his uh, mods. I almost can guarantee you he made close to a million dollars. Taxes. Chat, you're young. If you think that Ludwig doesn't have an accountant that's going to try to minimize his uh, taxes as much as possible and write off absolutely everything in the fucking world to reduce it, you're out of your mind. Bro, my accountant murders my stuff. I write off everything, and it reduces my taxes hundreds of thousands of dollars. Yes, he's in California, but still. I, I, I really think that you're underestimating how much streamers get right off everything. It's kind of crap. Like, anything you see in my room is a write-off. Anything. It's, it's kind of shit. And you know who taught me this? Soda popping. Dude, those boxes are write-offs. Isn't that crap? Because I, they're on stream. It's my content for my stream. It's content for my stream. If it's in my stream, it's content for my stream. This phone, obviously, my phone's gonna be a uh, write-off. Everything. This couch was a write-off. That TV was a write-off. Uh, Dito's a write-off. You know. Um, you know what else? Is the, that door that's thirty-five feet long is a write-off. Synax a write-off. I write off Synax every month. Uh, you know. You know how expensive Synax batteries are to keep running like that. Those things are double A. Um, uh-oh, Pluto's here. Your entire relationship with Maya is a write-off. Right. The one date a year I take Maya on is a write-off. Everything's a write-off. Chompy getting his nuts cut off? I talked about it on stream for a reason. That's a write-off. You know what I mean? The dance recycle fat yes, my boxes are legitimately write-offs. I swear they are. They are write-offs. The shovel? That's charity. That's, of course, a write-off. But you'd be surprised. Um, I talked to my accountant about this. Charity is not as much as a write-off as it used to be, especially for people like... Uh, if Dito jumps, that's a write-off. That's a write-off. Um, it's a huge write-off. You know what I mean? Because it's on stream. So if you want to go to the vet hospital, it's a write-off. Go for it. Like, everything's a write-off, chat. Is your house a write-off? Partially. You can't write off your entire house, but this room is a write-off. I don't know the, the, the specifics, but a lot of things are write-off. It's kind of bullshit. Streamers get away with fucking murder when it comes to writing shit off. Um, it's kind of crap. My food is a write-off, yes. Because I... Uh, because I eat it on stream, as you know. I make I make sure you know that I'm right. I'm eating my food on stream. Um, what else is a write off? Uh, Even at a two K. My boxes. How much do you spend in taxes in total? I can ask Sinek. I, last year it was definitely six figures. Um, it was definitely closer to a quarter million dollars. But you also have to remember, I also have a lot of expenses. I I spend a lot of money, and I have a lot of employees. Me? I have you know Sinek. I have uh, six people working on my game that you guys, some of you guys know that I'm making a game. I have six people working on that every day. I pay them. I have, like, mods that I pay. It's already been a year, people. Wow. Um, I have YouTube editors that I pay. Uh, so I have, like, you know, like 20 plus employees. And then OTK was my sucks. Can I get a woo <laughs> Whoop, whoop. Yes, it's called Mizzy Wizzy Battle Royale. So you get to choose and become one of my 100 mods, and it's a Battle Royale as one of my mods. It's pretty sick. Um, one Tep is definitely a little overpowered, but it's pretty fucking cool. We're also making an NFT of Mizkiff. But I'm glad Lud's done. TLDR, I'm glad Lud's done with the subathon because holy fucking shit. Was is Cutie Lugia Cinderella... Right off? The Lugia is a write-off. Cutie Cinderella's probably fucking dying, all right? Dying. She's dying. 
she, I know she's dying. And she called Maya about it once. And I'm like, Maya, like, are you on the phone for, what, what is this phone call? Are you doing a subathon with her, her on the phone? Can you hang up? Like, it was like a 50-hour phone call with, with Cutie Cinderella about Ludwig Subathon. And I'm like, Maya, it's 30 days and he's in the room next door. Who gives a shit? Like, calm the fuck down. Cutie's like, oh my god, I just want to, I just want to hold him. And I'm like, Cutie, he's right he's there. He's, he, it's not hard. You could just walk in his room. But, I mean, it's understandable. Girlfriends chat, you know, they are, uh, Shut up, fat ass. they're terrible. They're absolutely terrible. Where are you going with this? I'm glad he's done because I feel like Cutie wants him off and Cutie wants to hang out with him. Um, and I also think he does need a massive mental break. 31 days is a bitch. Uh, I am very surprised he did this the entire time. I am. It's definitely not easy. Uh, no matter how much people say it is because... There's also the fact that, uh, with the subathon, the thing is, people gave Lud shit. And I saw people giving Lud shit, because they're like, Lamau, XD. He would, he, he wasn't really on stream for a long period of time. He would walk away for hours and do stuff. Like, he wasn't really there. But I'm telling, first of all, it, that's not gonna happen. Alright, dude owns a house, he has to deal with stuff. Second of all, dude, the amount, <sighs> when you're a streamer, especially one that actually cares, no matter if I walk away from the stream for five seconds, for five seconds, I'm not thinking about going to grab food. I know what you're thinking. Yeah, you are. My mind is in the back of it. I'm still thinking about Twitch the entire time. Even though Ludwig yeah. was gone for an hour sometimes or would leave for 30 minutes, in the back of his head was always Twitch. It's stressful, like, the entire time. So for 30 days of that, it's a pain in the ass. It really is. Blah, 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 blah. I love Sakuna. M64 runs are a write-off.